Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna do a cleaning video. It has been a long time since I've done one of those. If y'all hear a noise, it is so hot y'all. It's like, let me look and tell y'all what the degrees are right now outside. Actually, it's not as hot, it's 93, but it's only noon. It's probably gonna go up. Oh, but I bet you it feels hotter, let's see. <clears throat> it feels like 103, so. Anyways, today's video, I'm gonna share with y'all a vacuum uh, that was sent to me. This is by Nikasa. Um, they sent me the Power Scrub 2 Nikasa Floor Cleaner. Now this here vacuums and mops. So, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show it to y'all and then we're going to clean this house and use this to clean the floors so i'm going to turn y'all around and we're going to unbox this okay we're going to start just taking everything out We have the vacuum here. They did send me an email, which I'm gonna to get to in a minute. For some reason, the manual was not included, but they did send it to me. There's the battery, so this is cool. I didn't even realize that this was um, cordless. There's the handle. And then, And this must be the base for cleaning it. And the, oh, and the charging port. Really cool. Okay. I will be right back. I'm going to get those instructions. Okay, y'all. I'm back. So I found out what these little things are here. These are actually drying trays. Um, and of course, this piece here is the charging station. We have the main body the handle, the battery, and then there's also this cleaning tool. So we are going to start putting this together. It looks very easy to do. All I basically have to do is take the handle and we will just push that down in there, I believe is all I have to do, right? <clears throat> yep, and it's in. And then the battery sits back here on the back, so. I'm sorry. It's been a while since I've done a, a cleaning video, so. Got that in. Down here at the bottom is the brushes. And oh, I like this. Look at the brushes. They're very, very good looking. Okay. I will give y'all a really good look at this in just a minute. And my house is a mess. That's why we're going to clean today. I look a mess because I've been outside. But. Okay, to get started, we have assembled everything. Um, we're going to, <clears throat> okay, these little, um, sorry, <laughs> these are the drying trays, so we are going to insert these down here on this base. So one, Goes, let's make sure I do this right. <clears throat> One goes on this side here, and then the other goes on this side right here. And we're going to go find a place to plug this in to get this charging. Just a second. Okay, y'all. This is going to be a temporary spot for now um, to charge this until I figure out where I want to put it. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in. And then we're going to take the vacuum. 
and just put it back here like so. And <clears throat> I'm gonna move y'all around and let y'all see the monitor here. We're gonna go ahead and peel this off so we can see a little better. It is actually charging. It's only at 15%. Um, so we're gonna let that charge up. It says the battery indicator flashes white. The remaining battery, battery power will appear on the digital display. Um, it'll be fully charged. It will, it says the battery indicator stays on. The battery fully reaches 100%. Okay, so <clears throat> it's saying you need to let this charge for 12 hours for the first time. So we're gonna let this charge while I'm cleaning house and hopefully it'll charge enough that I can use it today. And then I will show y'all how you fill up the tank with water and all of that. But I just wanted to show y'all the unboxing. And I'm going to give y'all a better view. I'm going to take this off of my tripod. <clears throat> this is very nice. It's not real heavy. Um, here is the power on and off and things up here. There is your tank. I believe this is where your dirty water is going to go. And back here on the back is where the clean water will go. And then the battery. <clears throat> and there's the bottom. Very, it's very nice. So I'm excited to use this. I wish I would have plugged this in last night. That's what happens when you wait till the last minute. So we're gonna let this charge and hopefully we will get to use that. to calm down and that I'm overthinking everything about you and that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. I don't know about y'all but I always have a ton of shoes piled up in front of my door and I do have a shoe rack there but this is always where they are and I can't say anything because uh, I see a pair of my shoes just sitting there too. trying to get caught up on laundry it has been a busy week I was getting ready for my daughter's birthday so I wanted everything to be done and um, I don't know what I'm doing standing here biting my fingernail I think I broke a fingernail and <laughs> so I was biting my fingernail uh, it's funny when I watch back on these um, video clips and I'm like what in the world am I doing work things out so you don't let me go when I come real close sorry about these weird angles I don't know what was up I guess I was just uh, not on my game with doing uh, cleaning videos because it has been a while but this is my coffee bar slash tea bar area um, we like to make Herbalife teas and we also do coffee and stuff over here so um, you will see um, some flavorings and stuff that I had on there and I'm gonna move those around because I got a new little teapot and these cups from my sister for my birthday and I wanted to be able to, to display those and not have it looking so crowded. So you will see me doing some rearranging and cleaning and I really need to repaint the top of this um, little dresser that I use for my coffee tea bar. But over here on top of this little refrigerator, I'm taking all of the regular coffee cups and putting them in a little container and I'm gonna put them in the kitchen because we don't use these coffee cups very often. We're, we use the like 
um, insulated big tall cups more than anything so I'm just doing a little rearranging Okay, here is a little overview of it. I like how it turned out and I actually found a little stand uh, that I raised up that teapot on. I just didn't show it in this video. I did it later, but there's my little coffee slash tea bar. y'all I feel like I'm constantly doing dishes every now and then I will have my daughter come in here and help I probably should have her do it more often especially now that she just turned 14 but it's just a habit I guess I go in there and I just start loading the dishwasher and getting getting it all filled up but ugh, y'all I love having the kids home but man do we have lots of dirty dishes Somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold. Said we loved one another.
you stay, so what to do? I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself Now and then I'll try to laugh, but I'll cry a bit as well I was never any good at being away from you I met you in the summer Okay, y'all. Oh, is it gonna focus? Okay. Um, I turned off the camera and forgot to turn it back on, but I'm gonna turn around and show y'all the kitchen. I've gotten it mostly cleaned up. Um, all the dishes are done. We have some dishes over here drying. Got the sink clean. I wiped all the counters, and I also cleaned like the cabinet doors and stuff. Um, all that over here. Got that kind of straightened up. Um, this little basket the kids got me for my birthday and I keep jars, because after we eat bananas, we put the banana peels in there with water and use it for our plants. Um, I even uh, kind of straightened up in my pantry because I need to go shopping again. Because there's not a lot in here, but I just kind of straightened it up a little and got rid of, there were some bags of chips that were old and I'm actually, it's 3 o'clock and I'm just now going to eat a little TV dinner for lunch. <laughs> and so I'm going to sit down for just a little bit. But the kitchen, all the counters are cleaned off. And in a little while, we will take out that, oh, I've got laundry over there that fell over. But I will get that new vacuum and we will be cleaning. Oh, and I dusted and stuff in here. And I kind of rearranged my little area over here. And um, my shelf I showed in my last video. I added a few things to it and yeah the living room still needs to be worked on so that's next my mind's accelerating when i'm thinking about the good time. Okay, now we are in the living room i'm just dusting off this little tv table right here and y'all this little um texas figure thing that i was dusting my son made that for me bryce cut it out and made all of that and i just love it so much he's thinking about making those and selling them um in case you didn't know he has developed a love for woodworking so that is something he loves doing is building and making things out of wood that it couldn't be the two of us and it kind of feels like wasting something that was good right from the start let me tell you that i still want to hold you hold you hold i still want to hold you hold you hold baby let me hold you hold you hold and speaking of kids y'all Bryce has now turned 17. He turned 17 in June, and he is going to be a senior in high school, and I cannot believe it. I cannot believe my baby is going to be graduating. Well, he's not my baby baby. He's my oldest, but to me, he'll always be my baby. Courtney just turned 14 this past Saturday, and she is entering into high school. She is going to be a freshman. Like, I can't believe that. And then my actual baby baby is Adrian. He will be in seventh grade. He's still small, and I'm just cherishing him being little. He's ready to grow tall because right now he's smaller than a lot of the boys, but I enjoy him still being little since he's my last baby. But um, our kids are going to be starting back to school next month. I believe they start back around the 17th or it's either 16th, 17th, 18th, something like that of August. Uh, when do your kids uh, start back to school? Baby, let me hold you, hold you. Mind's 
accelerating, your eyes intoxicating, I find it hard to explain. Oh, I keep thinking of you, about the times we had, and I wanted you to stay. I still wanna hold you, hold you, hold, hold you, hold you. I just wanna hold you I just wanna look into your eyes And tell you that I want you You know you make me feel so alive Can't stop thinking about your day and night Y'all, I'm sitting here laughing at myself because I'm watching like a true crime show on TV and I keep catching myself on the video just looking over at the TV and I have some weird looks on my face like, I don't know, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Okay, y'all, it is charged up now. So right here on the back, we are going to take out, sorry, and take out this part. This is a clean water tank. And so, um, I'm gonna set the camera up. I'm gonna put water into here. You can put cleaner in it, but I'm not, I don't know. This time I'm just going to use, I guess, just the water for now. Mm. I'm not sure how full. Okay. I'm just going to dry this off with a towel. Kiss me, love it when we touch Every time I'm down here, you make me smile You're the solution it in now we're gonna go into the living room and get this started hey y'all I wanted to tell you a little bit about the Nicasa vacuum um, it is a wet dry vacuum so it's a two-way vacuum so it will save time because you're vacuuming and you're mopping and you can alternate between the two because you can choose when to press the button to spray the water to mop. So if you don't need a mop an area, if you want to go over a rug, just don't press that button. It has 18,000 PA strong suction, twin tank system. So you have the clean water tank and then you have your dirty water tank. It also has the self-clean system, which I found to be very easy to use. Um, you'll see at the end of the video when I, when I set it on to the charging dock and I press the button and it cleans it. I took out the brush and um, it wasn't even dirty, but if it was a little bit, you could go rinse it some more. I didn't have to, I just stuck it over on the side where the attachments go, where you can put your um, brush to dry. Um, it says it is very good at removing pet hair. I do not have any inside pets, but me and my daughter lose a lot of hair and it picked that up. <laughs> And it's suitable for all housing tops. So you can use this on wood floors, laminate, um, tile, carpet. Well, I mean, of course you don't want to mop on the carpet, but you can use the vacuum part. So overall, I think it is a very versatile um, vacuum. Um, yeah, 
So I just wanted to hop on and give y'all some of the key features. Okay, y'all, you can see I pressed that little button up there, the green button, and it is flashing because it is currently doing the self-cleaning mode. So it is cleaning the brush, and um, now I'm going to open this up and take it into my kitchen. Um, I was trying, I didn't get a very good shot right here, but it was pretty dirty, y'all. It Just in that little area there, it did a good job. So, um... I, op I was opening this up to also show you the brush. At first, I couldn't figure it out, um, but I finally did. So, now I'm going to go into the kitchen, and I, I didn't know how to open it. I guess I should have looked at the instructions a little better, because little did I know, you're supposed to lift up the part inside of there. Once I get this top part off, you'll see. You're supposed to lift that up and then take it and... Uh, See that little black part? You're supposed to go dump that into your trash can, but instead I poured it all out into my sink because I didn't pay attention. So normally you would lift the little black part up and it like strains all the dirt and debris so that you can go and throw it into your trash can and then you can come over here and just rinse it out. But like I said, I didn't pay attention. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean this out. Okay, so I did end up getting that little thing to open. I don't even know what you call it to get out the brush and it did not. I mean, it cleaned it really good to the point where I didn't have to go rinse it out. Um, I know there's some other types of vacuums like this. You have to take the brush out and rinse it again. It wasn't bad. I used this little brush that came with it to kind of wipe it off a little bit more. And then I stuck it over on the side where you let the brushes and stuff dry. Um, overall, I was really pleased with this. Um, thank you to Nikasa or Niakasa, if I'm saying it right. Thank you for sending me this vacuum. I will have all of their information linked down in the description box below. So um, if you're interested in checking this out, go look in my description box and go to their website and give them a look. And thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to try to put out cleaning videos more often. I know it's been a while. I'm a little bit, um, I'm not that great at doing them because it's been so long, but I'm going to try to get back into the swing of it. So thank y'all and I hope y'all have a great day.